So I forgot to put my hair in rollers last night. So I'm just gonna do that while I do my skincare. I've actually been changing things quite a bit. So I just finished cleansing my face and I'm gonna go in with a little Drunk Elephant skincare smoothie. That's what they call them, it's so cute. You can basically just mix all the ingredients on the top with your cream. So I'm just gonna do one pump of this and then I'm gonna add on the Be Hydra Intensive Facial. I'm actually almost out of this. I'll just do one two pumps of this. The smoothie gets a lot more complicated in the night because I like to use a lot of like resurfacing ingredients to get rid of my acne scars. But I think I'll just go with these two today and you just like mix it on the top like this and apply it straight. And the sunscreen is so good because it does not leave a white cast and it's so moisturizing. Yeah, as you can see, I just have a nice little glow and I'm gonna get dressed now before I pack my bag for school. So many of you guys have asked for a realistic like student day in the life. This week it just worked out that I have a 10 hour lecture day instead of a six hour lecture day. And that's why I'm up a little bit earlier so I can pack my bag and have everything that I need to be on campus literally all day and also grab a matcha to keep me awake during class. And I'll also show you guys what's in my backpack. And this is the Marc Jacobs medium tote bag and the pattern is like jacquard. It's not like a canvas tote bag. It's a little bit sturdier than that. This is just what the inside looks like. There's no real forms. And there's this inside pouch that has a zipper pocket that I just keep like period stuff in and then also I have some adulting stuff in there like I have a check to deposit my grocery shopping list is in there because this also doubles as like my purse so in one pocket I have kind of like skincare I have a matte sunstick so I can reapply it easily throughout the day I have a melanin ghost lip balm that I actually stole from my sister and then I have the drunk elephant lippy balm and then this is the beauty of just an matte sunstick and then in the right pocket because I'm a digital student now I just have one pen one pencil an eraser and whiteout and then I also just have sticky notes if I ever need to make a physical reminder for myself and also in my zipper pocket, I keep my card holder, which just has like my IDs and my cards. I do not carry cash. It's actually a really bad habit. Next, I just carry my laptop. I carry my iPad. And I usually don't carry my charger because I charge my devices the night before. But because we have a 10 hour lecture day, I'm just going to bring it in case. The next thing that's in my backpack are my headphones. These are noise canceling. I absolutely love them. I've had them for almost a year now. And my friend actually came up to me the other day and she was like, I can always spot you out of a crowd or out of a class because you always have your big ass headphones headphones on and then I usually carry two cameras this one and my GoPro and then I usually just have one hair tie in my backpack at all times so then I have to go to lab for example and then I have one to put my hair up so this is how much my bag is filled with all those things and in the empty space goes my like containers for snacks and lunch so I'm gonna pack that in the kitchen and then I'm gonna head out to grab a matcha and then we can start our 10 hour lecture day So it's actually worth like 2.5% of my grade. Oh, hey girl. Oh. <laughs> and if you guys watch the study vlogs from 2020, this is the Discord people in, me. In, <laughs> Discord people <laughs> in real life. I don't normally stay this late, like with someone. Usually I'm staying by myself, but I got a lot of work done studying with Janice today, which is really great. But now I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna cook dinner. Then I'll probably do 30 to 40 more slides, hopefully, and then call it a night. Okay, well I ended up ordering in because I am so hungry and I don't feel like cooking. So we're gonna have some ramen. I'm so excited. I got tonkatsu black.
I'm gonna give you guys a book update. I'm currently reading three books, which is a little odd for me because usually I just like to finish a book in like 24 hours, be done with it, and then if it's really good, then I'll reread it. Just because my attention span's just a little bit short. On Earth, We're Briefly Gorgeous by Ocean Wong, One True Loves by Taylor Jenkins Reid, and Babel by R.F. Kuang. I don't have it with me, but I'll flash it on screen. But I read If You Could See the Sun by Anne Liang. And if you haven't read it yet, this is the spoiler disclaimer because I'm gonna be discussing what I liked and what I didn't like about it. So I actually rated this book a six out of 10, and it's supposed to be an academic rivals to lovers. However, I don't even think this trope even was there. It was like very, very superficial. It was so obviously all in the girl's head. From literally the first two chapters, you could tell that it was one-sided that he low-key had feelings for her because he had a photo of the two of them from like three years ago still on his desk. It just wasn't giving the whole like enemies or like the rivals to lovers or like maybe because it was like set in high school that it's not very, you know, like steamy or like very like gripping in that way. But I think the actual theme that the author was trying to hit about socioeconomic status, like the different classes, especially because it's based in China. Like I thought that was very interesting, but it's just very much a teen book. I wouldn't say it's a young adult. Yeah, and I literally noted that I didn't read it in one day because it was just so like boring at some parts. Her whole invisible power kind of just like came out of nowhere and then it literally like didn't go anywhere after like it got resolved in the end. I don't even think that's like something good to leave as like open-ended. Like there should have been a reason why. Otherwise it was just like a random plot device that they threw in. So unfortunately it was very disappointing. And then I also read Carrie Soto is back, which I'll have also on screen. I actually recommend you guys Carrie Soto is back because unlike if you could see the sun, it was a very compelling book. I literally felt like I was on every scene like in the moment and that really takes incredible authorship. So shout out to TGR for making a sport. I literally Really had no idea about interesting and like Taylor Jenkins Reid always writes about powerful women and Carrie Soto is definitely that so I actually really recommend this one if you guys are looking for something a little bit different sticking to Taylor Jenkins Reid I'm reading One True Loves like I mentioned and I am about 100 pages in and I think it's genuinely gonna break my heart I think she is such a great writer when it comes to characters you just grow an attachment for characters you never thought you would have grown an attachment for and that takes some really good writing but when I finish this book I'll let you guys know my final rating I also think it's being made into a movie so that will be interesting and the last book i am currently reading is babel by rf kuang i've actually had this for three or four months like this is a really dense book for me to read while i'm taking six courses in two labs so i've only been reading like a handful of pages every other week so i haven't made too much progress but i am really excited to finish this one as well so i guess this is kind of my monthly tbr i think i'll actually read this while i eat before i go back to studying shower because school air is not the vibe. I always just feel so icky after staying there for so long and I am in need of a self-care night. I actually got this robe from Junk Elephant when they sent me to Texas for their brand trip. I have a reel and a YouTube shorts on it if you guys haven't seen it yet but I'm gonna walk you guys through my new nighttime skincare routine. I changed my skincare recently because my skincare goals have changed and right now I'm just going in with the Be Hydra Intensive Hydration Serum. I'm really focusing on getting rid of my hyperpigmentation that you guys may have noticed. Farm school is a lot more work than I anticipated. So I've been having a lot of stress pimples. I have one like scabbed over like right now. But I went to Texas with Drunk Elephants so I could learn more about their bouncy bright facial. This is like a radiance boosting leave on mask which has 10% acetic acid and 1% salicylic acid which really helps just to clarify uneven tone and fade stubborn spots which is really what I'm dealing with. And so what you can do with Drunk Elephant moisturizers is that most of the products you can actually just pour into the lid here and you like pump it out so it just goes like this. And then I do one pump of C Firma, which is a vitamin C that will also help me remove dark spots. You can actually just mix it together on the moisturizer before applying it. And right now I'm using the Proteiny Polypeptide Cream because I want to strengthen my skin. And then I go in with my new friend, Bouncy Bright Facial, and I just do about two and a half pumps. So you guys want to know like my secret to how I lighten my dark spots, it's using these two together. I got this a few weeks before it came out, so I really got to test it out. And I really saw the results in the lightening of the dark spots on my chin. And then I'm going to do just like a little bit more moisturizer. And then I have like an eyelash growth serum that I'm going to do right before I go to bed. 
And as you guys can see, my super sensitive skin has not broken out into any hives. That is the number one test that I want all my skincare products to pass. If I don't want them to trigger any breakouts. I don't want them to trigger any hives when I'm doing it. I really want to see results. So thank you again to Drunk Elephant for taking me to Texas. I had such a great time. And now I'm going to moisturize my entire body, especially my legs, because I'm wearing a skirt tomorrow. And I use the Drunk Elephant Silly Whipped Body Lotion. The only thing about this lotion is that it doesn't have a scent. So you don't smell like coconut butter or whatever afterwards. This is truly my self-care and like my night routine. I shave my legs and moisturize it from head to toe. <laughs> and getting into clean sheets with shaved legs is literally the best thing ever. Self-care is moisturizing your ankles and your toes, okay? Like maybe this is weird, but like I think taking care of your feet or like doing a pedicure at home is literally one of the highest tiers of like physical self-care because you always neglect your feet. Like when you're even in the shower, like you just let the soap run down to your feet. Like do you actually scrub your feet? And then also don't forget to do your hands and your wrists. Okay, that is my nighttime self-care and skincare, shower routine, literally everything. I would actually cut my bangs right now, but I am so pooped from the day. I think I'm just going to read in bed for 10-15 minutes until I get tired and then I'm going to call it a night. <laughs>